In this part 3 video, the TM1638 is programmed to display binary, decimal, and hexadecimal counts when a button is pressed. In this project, the TM1638 is programmed to display different counts on the 7 segment display. So, for example, when we press uh, button S1, we will get a one digit uh, hexadecimal count on uh, the first 7 segment display. And when we press S2, we will get a two digit uh, decimal count from 0 to 99. And when we press S3, we will get a four digit decimal count from 0 to 9999. And when we press S4, we will get a 8 bit binary count on the display. And at any of the counts, when we press S8, the count will exit and the display will be cleared. Let's have a quick look at the sketch used in this project. This one dimensional array digit will store 16 elements which represent the hexi digits uh, from 0 to F that will be displayed on the 7 segment display. We also have these uh, header files included. Now, uh, these header files were explained in my previous video, so I will just focus on this header file called functions, which contains the functions that will be executed when a button is pressed. Within the set of function, we next initialize the TM1638, and then within the loop function, we check the status of the pressed buttons. Now, if button one is pressed, then we will get a hexadecimal count on the display from 0 to F where this function will be called and executed. If button 2 is pressed then we will get a count from 0 to 99 where buttons, button 2 function will be called. If 3 is pressed then a count from 0 to 9999 where function button 3 will be called and executed. And finally if we press button 4 then we will get a binary count an 8-bit binary count where function button 4 will be executed inside the header file functions.h we have a function button 1 its purpose is to display the hexi count from 0 to f on the first seven segment digit so inside the function the first thing we do is to turn on led number one and then using a for loop we will loop 16 times to display the 16 hexi characters from 0 to F on the uh, 7 segment digit. And this is the statement used to display the digit. And meanwhile, while we are displaying the count, uh, we check the status of button uh, number 8. If it is pressed, then we will exit the count and reset the display. If button 2 is pressed, then this function will be called and executed. Inside this function, we turn on LED 1 and 2. And then using this nested for loop, we will display the counts from 0 to 99 using the first two digits of the 7 segment display. Meanwhile, we check the status uh, of the switch 8. If it is pressed, then we will uh, clear the screen and uh, exit the count. If button 3 is pressed, then this function is called and executed. And using this uh, nested for loop, we will display the counts from uh, 0 to 9999 using the first four seven segment uh, screens. Again, meanwhile, we check the status of uh, button 8. If it is pressed, then the screens are cleared and the count is uh, stopped. Finally, if we press button 4, then this function will be called and executed. And uh, within this nested loop, we will see a binary count on the 8-bit LEDs. And also, we will see the binary count on the 8 digits of the 7-segment display. Again, we check the status of uh, switch 8. If it is pressed, then all the displays are cleared and the count is stopped. You could also download and install a TM1638 library and try out some of the available examples. 
In a future video, I will program the TM1638 to display sensor measurements on the 7 segment displays. Thank you for watching.